approaching the winter solstice, which marks the end of the year, the change of season and the Earth's rebirth. It's the time of the year with the fewest hours of daylight, but spring is just around the corner. As 2020 comes to a close, it's been a year like no other. COVID has spread across the world and with an impact on humanity that our generation has not witnessed before. And whilst we have been responding to this, another crisis, that of the climate crisis, has been silently but swiftly moving across the globe. For Earth Trust, our mission to link people to the environment is more relevant than ever before. Our endeavours to keep green spaces open and accessible have been welcomed, and these places have been in high demand during the COVID months. Giving people access to the natural world and through this, better understanding of the environment, its protection and what it takes to care for it, people will act together for nature to keep us healthy, just as it has done before. The pandemic has been challenging for us all. Earth Trust has had to react, respond, in order to continue to fulfil our mission. But at a time when people were visiting us in unprecedented numbers, our usual funding sources from wedding venue hire and events such as lambing disappeared overnight. With no funding, we had to take advantage of the furlough scheme. So whilst you needed us more than ever before, 80% of our staff were on furlough. More than ever, we knew how important it was to welcome you to our green spaces. But the increased numbers visiting did also bring some challenges. Whilst in an ideal world, people would leave the countryside and nature as they found it, this has not always been happening. So we invited people to join our Love It, Look After It campaign. Our plight, along with many other places, came to the attention of Countryfile, and we were able to raise the profile of the issues in thousands of homes across the UK. And the pandemic didn't stop us. We are incredibly proud that we have continued to build our new skills and learning centre, Earth Lab, and the refurbishment of one of our barns into an active innovation hub. Earth Lab is already proving to be a demonstration of sustainability. From the new materials that we are using for building and insulation, to the demonstration of buildings as living ecosystems in their own right. A roof reflecting the surrounding landscape with its wildflowers and insect life linking water in the landscape to water use in the home. The building is brimming with learning opportunities for everyone to explore. But just as the winter solstice marks the end of the year, it also signals light and life to come. Despite the challenges of this year, the profile of the environment has been raised. There is now more national and political recognition for the need for nature's recovery. We will continue to play an active role in the county to make sure you have access to the green space you have rightly been demanding. We have lots to look forward to in 2021. At this critical time, we will be sharing our learning of sustainable building, working alongside the construction trade to create a future that our children and grandchildren will be proud of. With our partners, we are looking forward to creating our second wetland landscape on the banks of the River Thames and Tame, putting back and restoring precious ecosystems on which the health of biodiversity, as well as our health, depends. The next vital phase of our visitor learning experience is due to commence next year. And we will begin to influence for more green spaces close to where you live and work. The balance of biodiversity, community and economy will underpin all our green space campaigning. We couldn't do what we do without you. Whether you've volunteered your time, given a donation or helped with a gift, thank you. I hope you know how much each is appreciated and valued. I can't wait to welcome you in person again soon. I hope you and your family have a very happy Christmas.